Hey, good morning, good morning. Neața, uh, la cafeluță, da? Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning and it's time for a coffee. Daniel, Neața. Jerry, good morning. Hans, good morning. Um, it's a Sunday morning and uh, it's a rainy day. It's just, you know, the perfect time for a coffee. Good morning. Germany, Sweden. Saudi Arabia, good morning. Algeria, Philippines, good morning. Ukraine, good morning. Uh, grab a coffee. Yeah, yeah, let's have a coffee together. Let's find out what everyone did uh, last week. Perfect time for a Coke. It's kind of morning for a Coke, but for a coffee. I like to have a tea. Yeah, tea is good. <coughs> tea is good. It's espresso, Sylvie. Good morning, Lucas. Still uh, in bed, lazy. <laughs> ah, killer on that. Uh, good morning, fourth fourth cup for today. Uh, my one is the third one. Morning from Sardinia. Good morning. Uh, Natsa. Finland. Good morning, guys. Just uh, grab a coffee. Mm. So, how is everyone? What everyone worked? Jerry, proper calibrated coffee. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Ah, uh, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> Funny people. Sorry, Daniel, but I'm not a rich guy. I don't have money. <laughs> Why you wear a black shirt? Some of your video. That favorite color. The problem is the camera. I mean, I like dark colors, but the problem is the camera. So if here I have something like... Uh, you know, brighter, uh, the camera, it will adjust the, it will adjust the, the brightness. How is cold? Uh, I, I don't remember. But I cannot have like bright things on the, on the video, on the camera. I did bypass a coffee machine with a wire. Yeah, seems about right. Exposure, exactly, Constantine. Thank you. Exposure, yeah, exposure. It's auto exposure. And he's doing auto exposure by changing the, the exposure time or changing the F of, on the lens, you know, the diaphragm. Good morning from Uganda. Good morning, Gustavo. Good morning. Buenos dias. Bogdan, try uh, try and share your story on our Discord. And uh, there are like 15k people. So from 15k, I'm pretty sure someone 
you know, it will try to give you some uh, advices. Wuxing, good morning. Can you make a DIY microscope? I don't think it's worth, Dennis. I mean, if you buy the cheapest microscope, it's about five, ten pounds, five to ten pounds. That's that's how much it is. You see that tubes, USB tubes, microscopes. Very cheap. I mean, what you should DIY on that one? I mean, you can buy it. You can use it from a close distance, and you can uh, have the picture on the monitor. Maybe if you try <coughs> to use like uh, arm, then then yeah, you need different lens. You need uh, you can DIY something there. <coughs> I fix two laptops with no skills, all because of you. That make me happy, you know, make me feel complete. Sound check. Glisha, that's fine. That's not a problem. Good morning. How is your morning? It's fine. It's just, you know, it's just a rainy day. And I'm alone. I'm home alone. You can believe that? I'm home alone. I mean, home alone. I'm with my son. Because Diana, is, uh, she's uh, back in Romania to visit her parents. So, uh, yeah. I'm kind of on my own. Good morning from rainy Germany. So here is raining from yesterday, like, you know, quite a heavy rain. And it's still going strong. And you know what? I just, uh, you know, uh, I just washed the windows yesterday. <laughs> and now, you know, it's all raining. Try some danger, dangerous, danger jobs when wife and kids are not home. You know how is danger, danger jobs? How, it's same like with the power supply. With the power supply, I made a video. I tried to fix that power supply, the PC power supply, and that was a danger video. And obviously, the house fuses blow up, and I lost the video. <laughs> that, that's what happened. So on the dangerous videos, I'm only losing the the content. Do I need different flux in uh, desoldering? Usually in desoldering, you don't really need flux. Morning from France. Good morning. Hello, sir. Do you have electronic repair books, PDF for learners like me? Albert, I have something better. Videos. Yeah. So I like 1,000 videos on this channel. Then I have the other channel for beginners, you know, Sorin and Diana. Sorry, morning from Australia. Good morning, Mark. From Hungary, good morning. Morning from Croatia, Greece. Good morning, guys. Mati, good morning. Stops rain about 10 a.m. Let me see. Yeah, about 11. Yeah, yeah. About uh, about 11 o'clock, it will stop. But it's, yeah. Yeah. Mark, good morning. Germany, Slovakia. Grab a coffee, guys. Get a UPS. <laughs> yeah, that's 
dessa solution. Warning from Albania. Hmm. Florin, salutat din Brașov, salut. Good morning from Munich. Fixed my first motherboard recently using the knowledge from your videos. Just a dodgy capacitor. But still a success. That's fantastic. That's the beginning, you know. You start with easy jobs, then... Uh, yeah. Have you done any repairing a touchscreen laptop? I done a lot. Like, even last days was a Dell. But you mean like fixing the touch screen? If that's what you mean. Uh, not sure really what you can fix there. Because usually it's the touch screen. The touch screen is connected to the USB. The USB to the PCH, you know, is going straight to the chipset. So I'm not sure what you can repair there. <coughs> What is LDO? <clears throat> what is LDO? Low... Uh, what LDO means? I forgot. Low dropout, yeah, low dropout, yeah, I found it, I found it. Oh, yeah, yeah, people, people figure it out, you see? Yeah. <clears throat> so, how's the business been? You are still backlogged. <laughs> uh, I am back stuck. You know what was that? So I'm wearing I'm wearing this kind of thing, it's, you know, the, the thermal blanket. So it's connected to the mains. So basically I'm connected because my back is killing me, especially on this time of the year. My back is killing me and I have a thermal blanket on my back. <clears throat> Can you speak a little bit, Giulio? Good morning from Italy. More about the video for paying subscribers. On which you talk about disabling a faulty GPU. Uh, Giulio, usually the videos from, uh, from uh, pay subscribers, they are there for a few days, then, then they are getting published. If there are videos which are not published, it's because I want them, <coughs> you know, are uh, either less important, like I have there a GPU, I have a video with, you know, the GPU, uh, what's the name? One second, I'll clarify this. One second. Uh, GPU reflow, still a thing in 2023. That's just a poor video. You know what I mean? Just a poor video. I make a video because, I don't know, maybe I was getting bored. Maybe I thought it's a different fault. And I shared that video to, to the members. But, you know, it's nothing like, you didn't lose anything, if that's what you think. Heat is not good for your back. Uh, actually, it is very good. Every time I'm using heat, uh, it's getting better.
No, no, I'm, I'm afraid about chiropractor. No, no, that, that's not the way. <laughs> Make it public, public then. Silvio, on a poor video, poor videos are hurting my channel. Yeah, so there are people getting into the videos, skipping the videos, you know, just for quick forwarding or closing the videos because it is a poor video. Then, um, you know, the, the, the YouTube, it will uh, stop uh, showing that video. And the next video, it's same, it will show uh, less than usual. So I'm trying to avoid publishing poor videos. <clears throat> I think it's called impression rate. That's, that's what I think I call, it's called. I use the HS for my back. <laughs> you found the you find the, the, the right excuses, yeah. You should make proper, proper calibrated fuse t shirts. I uh, closed the, the the merch shop after uh, I made like two huge sales there, like zero. <laughs> I sold nothing. Because the products are too expensive. I mean, for a coffee mug, it was like, I don't know, 18 or 20 pounds, something like that. A t-shirt was like 40, proper expensive. And the sad part is people thought, I'm charging the money. That's why they are expensive, because I'm, I'm trying to make more money. But actually, the shop is expensive. So I, I closed that shop. The, the one with the merch, which is getting linked with the, with the YouTube. <clears throat> what you will check first when the LED TV has no signal on the whole HDMI ports? Greg, based, based on the fact actually you have some uh, HDMI ports, that's what you said, you have no signal on all HDMI. I mean, you have on some HDMI and some HDMI not. Or you don't have uh, at all. We don't, that, because that can make a difference. <clears throat> cold patch. They always happen from cold. So I'm, I'm getting the, the, the pain when it's cold outside or I, I've been outside with uh, what is cold here in the room. Jakarta, hi Uncle Sorin. <clears throat> All HDMI gave me no signal. Okay. Uh, Greg, not sure what should I tell you because the HDMI is going straight to the, the video chip. So for some reason, it's not switching. From the, the digital tanner to the HDMI. <clears throat> Mag is 20, 30 euros if you want to support. Yeah, Glisha, but you understand the, the problem. The problem, the, the buyer is paying 20 to 30 euros, but not to me. For, he's paying for a mug, which is mad expensive, you understand? So if I'm listing the merch, all what I'm doing, I'm just, you know, make them happy. <clears throat> Hi from New Zealand. How to link different two transformers in series and how to calculate the output power. Um, basically, you have to match the current. Because if you link two transformers on the serial mode and one transformer has, let's say, less current, the output current, it will be based on the 
low current transformer. The same with the power supply, it's the same thing if you like use two batteries on the serial mode. So the output current it will be determined by the low current battery. Good morning. <clears throat> Is there a way to protect the super IO? Um, ah, Varok. I think that they are all protected apart from Lenovo. Yes, yeah? so Lenovo, there is an issue if you short the charger IDP into 20 volts. But the other laptops, they have protections. I mean, I've seen the HP, I've seen uh, Dell. They are protecting the, the charger IDP, but not, uh, not Lenovo. Which is your home country, sir? I'm assuming the home country now is United Kingdom. Because uh, I have nothing back on my uh, original country, which was Romania. I have nothing there, like house and... No. As we say in Bulgaria, when we, you are too old to give bad examples, you start giving good advices. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Mm -hmm. Uh, gosh, usually it is the keyboard. Now, you're telling me the keyboard is acting uh, erratically, erratically. Uh, the keyboard is connected straight with MSI. No, it's not connected straight to the, to the EC chip. Depends. There are there are uh, like different models. So the keyboard is connected straight to the EC chip, or the keyboard is connected to a to a chip, which is kind of a super I/O and has uh, also has firmware, and that chip is speaking with the super I/O chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, we have before um, this kind of. Uh, laptop to repair so depends you have to check your motherboard if there you have like two ITE chip because usually I seen there like two ITE different ITE chips I mean what you can try you can try like a reflow if it's working fine if it's not working then you have to start replacing things hello from Poland Lucas my laptop battery getting this charge after you know I hate this I hate this this I can't see the after I switch off and charger it's out what I can do I mean that's how it is I mean, you think if you switch the laptop off the battery is disconnected but it's not you have the 3.3 LDO power supply which is always on, on onto the laptop so just because you switch the laptop off, that doesn't mean it's not taking power anymore. Now, it depends how quickly it's getting discharged, because if it's getting discharged in one day, then it's a problem. If it's getting discharged in a few days, then it's making sense. Uh, 
uh, it's not only about the resistance between the charger ID pin and the ground or the plus. It's also about the digital communication. Could corrupted bias firmware could cause something like that? I'm not sure, I, I can't tell you that, but probably not. Basically, there is like some random thing, yeah? A random faults. I don't know, it's hard to say. Adrian Salud. The BMS and battery takes power too. Yeah, Olaf, that's a good point. Even the BMS is taking power. Yeah. So a battery it will get discharged uh, by itself after a while. What is the advantage of having the LDO on when the laptop is off? There is no advantage. This is a must. I mean, some chip has to be on in order to read the power button, for example, yeah? When you press the power button, you expect, you know, someone or something to read that power button. That's why you have the IO chips or CO chips or EC chip, it's always uh, on. Battery discharging about five, six hours from full to zero. Uh, Lucas, probably there is a different fault. I'm, uh, I'm advise you, disconnect the battery, come with the power supply on the main power rail and see how much power it is taking. I mean, this, that power doesn't evaporate. So something is getting power and something is getting hot. Yeah. So you have, uh, you have to check. Can you look on your soldering station? It's, it's just forget. I'm trying to explain. I would like, like how long, like eight years with like cheap solder irons and I have no problem. You remember, I use like 25 pound solder iron and I have no issue. Now you want me to show you like my 500 pounds soldering iron. It's making no sense. It's making no difference. Yeah. So you will see no difference. That's the thing. You just, on this expensive one, you don't replace the tips that often, but otherwise it will make no difference. Is the PCH same as chipset? Yeah, it's one of the, the same thing. Ever seen on a laptop with infrared sensor anymore? Uh, Mark, I seen on the past, on the past that you have the serial communication on the, based on infrared, but on the new laptops, no, I didn't. So, uh, oh, where I'm just trying to av avoid giving bad examples. I mean, if you think if you buy an expensive uh, soldering iron, it will make you better. That's that's not gonna happen. Um, Olaf, usually I, w I, w I, w I was doing this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of repairs and you can use the hot, wo hot wire, hot input wire from the amplifier and with that capacitor you can search for audio signal, yeah, just using a capacitor on a serial mode with a hot wire, the input wire, and you can search for the audio signal, very easy. How is your Discord? Seems like some moderators has gone. Not sure what do you mean, cloak. The Discord, you can find the link on the description of the Discord. The moderators are there to moderate, so uh, we have a chat bot. Yeah, so the bot, it's, you know, it's handling the chat. You know, if you write 
bad things. But otherwise, the Discord is a community-based uh, chat. So don't expect help for moderators, yeah? Expect help from the other 15,000 people which are on Discord. I just check in the morning at 15,000. <clears throat> Channel membership button missing again. Gosh, I'm not sure. The button is there, but I don't know. YouTube is funny with, uh, you know, people from different places. The word, you know, moderator is to moderate a discussion, a chat, a dialogue. Yeah, that's all. Membership function does not exist in Channel Island. I'm really sorry. The only way is to use a VPN. But it's not about me, it's about YouTube. In the last couple of days, I have a lot of laptops with the GPU. Uh, Lucas, um, be careful because if you don't have picture, that doesn't mean it's a dead GPU. If you had like a shorted MOSFET on the GPU, then yes, you can assume you have a dead GPU. But otherwise, just because you have no picture, that doesn't mean it's a dead GPU. I will say most likely, you know, it's a dead uh, PCH or chipset. Uh, Glitch, I need to become a moderator there, here, to make order and law. You know how it's with the moderator? The same with the spices, you know spices? So spices, yeah, from a cooking point of view, spices are good, yeah, make the food have nice taste. But when you feel a spice, yeah, oh, I can, yeah, I can, I can feel the pepper. That's mean it's too much, you understand? So when you feel the spices, yeah, and you can identify it, then it's too much. <laughs> the same with moderators. The moderators have to be like, you know, working uh, from shadow, you know. You don't have to have that, uh, to have that feeling, someone watching you, someone, you know, is following you, expecting to press, you know, ban button or, I don't know, delete button. Adrian Natsa. I tried to buy a couple of things from eBay, but not available. No shipping to you. Uh, Jesus, just give me a little bit, few more days, yeah. Just give me because I'm I'm sorting up this. I'm 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 on top of this. This is my high priority thingy. Yeah, Mati, yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, actually, Discord doesn't need moderators because the, 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 the bot is so good. You know, it's a chat bot. I mean, there is Diana, is moderator, then is Jan, and then uh, I think it's one more guy, but that's all. And there's nothing what you can do. I mean, the, 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 I don't know, someone in the past, you know, the past was a lot of moderators. 
someone set up the chat to get triggered by the word Nitro because of the, the, the Discord Nitro scam. And no one on the Discord can write, you know, I Acer Nitro, you know, Acer, Acer Nitro. You, you can't write on the chat because it's getting deleted instantly. And I'm not sure where is that, uh, where is that setting on the, on the bot. But it's getting triggered by the, the Acer Nitro. Yeah, pretty funny because the people don't, don't know what, why the, the comment was deleted. And they ask, wait, who is de deleting my comments? Did you come back for a holiday in Romania? No, Diana is there with my daughter. So she got back to Romania two days ago to visit her parents. And she will be back next week. So I'm, uh, I'm home alone. Home alone, me and my boy. But we are fine. We are ordering food, and uh, yeah, that's how uh, that's how we are uh, surviving. <laughs> but you know, it's it's quite it's quite you know. I'm feeling like you know. I'm feeling lost without uh, without my wife. She she was handling you know the house and everything. You know that feeling. Let's get a party in home, Sorin. Jerry. You know, when I was younger, I was like, always uh, take the advantage, you know, to, when I'm alone to carrying a party. Where I'm just past of that age. Barbecue time? Mark, it's, it's raining like hell outside. I mean, it's a heavy rain. There is no barbecue time. Favorite takeaway food? I mean, I like McDonald's. I mean, always you are getting the same quality on the on the food from McDonald's. <clears throat> no more sarmale. No, but she left some uh, meatballs for me, and I'm good. You know, I have meatballs. I have McDonald's. We uh, we can order food, and I do have some Turkish food. Now, here are some Turkish restaurants they are selling with Uber Eats. A Turkish food, very close to Romanian food, especially when it's about, you know, uh, chicken stuff. Very good food, very good food. How old is your son? Uh, 15. Also, here in Romania, it's raining. It's raining everywhere. Someone from Germany was saying it was raining, even there. Kiftele, Bogdane, Kiftele. <laughs> some baklava. Baklava is nice. I love baklava. So, I'm, you know, I'm going special you know, just to buy baklava. It's crazy good. I love your passion for electronics. Alisa, thank you very much. Rain is coming from Russia. <laughs> In Bucharest, it's not raining at all. Yeah. Yes, it's good. Yeah, you see, everyone is knowing about baklava. Uh, Andolis, uh, but I did try every fast food from here. For me, Taco Bell died probably like seven, eight years ago. They, they were used to do like good stuff there, like good uh, burrito, but now it's, it's so poor, you, you can't even eat it. Then I found some Mexican people. Um, they are doing burrito. Burrito is kind of, you know, kind of, kind of. It's not kind of a shawarma, but close. But it's good, you know, beans and meat. It's a good taste. 
Cheers from Tunisia. Good morning. Raining in California too. You see, John? Yeah, everyone is raining. Poland raining all week, you see? It's just, you know, the this time of the year, it's raining everywhere. Yeah, Mati, I have here a, like a big shopping center, Lexide. There are some, uh, you know, like, like like you said, like I I I, I ate there. It's a Italian restaurant. Proper nice food. Proper nice food. Nah, you know you know what I I I ate once because my wife want to eat there like IKEA food. And I, I took exactly the meatballs. I said, you know what, the next time I'll I will not buy it again. <laughs> it's a, was was so bad, you know. Yeah. Once I, I tried the meatballs from IKEA. Kiwi, do you use T twelve tips? T twelve. Not sure what T twelve means. What what T twelve means? I have those, but he's not saying anything on the tips, so I'm not sure what what that means. Hako? No, no Hako. No, 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 no. No, thank you. I tried Hako. I was so disappointed. So Hako performed poor compared with, uh, you know, my 25 pound solder iron from eBay. No, I'm okay. No Hako. No, I was so disappointed. I bought it from Amazon and I pay like, like 200, 300 pounds, something like that. It was not my money. It was the owner of the shop money. And then people said, uh, sorry, it probably is fake, you know, just buy the original genuine tips. And I bought tip from Amazon again, from different seller, and same, was so poor, I, I could not use it. And when I say poor, it's about, the, you know, the power of the tip. The power, it's, it's, it's all about the power, yeah. Oh, yeah, some people are happy with Hako. Probably I bought a I bought a fake one. That's that's my explanation. Otherwise, I cannot explain. I'm pretty sure there are fake things on uh, on Amazon. So probably I bought a fake one. Because you know it's unbelievable. I I I cannot believe actually a few hundred pound solder iron to perform poorer compared with a twenty five pound one. So yeah, probably it was a fake one. Uh, Fernando, I'm not sure what do you mean. Believe me, Serhat is saying, believe me, I use a $10 solder iron and I love it every day. You see? Some people, they hide behind tools. Like, okay, I'm doing poor soldering because of the tool, of the solder iron. But that's not true. Like, sometimes I try to solder something. And this is too small. This is not a lot of power on this solder tip. And it's not melting. And yeah, the solution is just to accept, okay, the power is not enough. And come with the hot air and help the solder air.
Uh, yeah, gosh, I was about like you when I work in the shop. So I had like a cheap 25 pound solar iron and I replaced it in like a few months of replacing the, the tip. I used to buy components from uh, Farno. Uh, yeah, Farnell uh, or uh, Mauser. They are, uh, you know, trustable uh, sellers. Uh, Della, I never tried iFix products, so I cannot, they have products. I mean, I know they are selling like phone accessories, but I didn't know they have actually products. Wait a second, wait a second. Yesterday I've been on the fish market on Canary Wharf. I have a friend, yeah. He called me yesterday because he knows my habit with the fish soup. And he asked me, sorry. I am on the fish market on London. Do you want fish? And I said, you know what? Diana is not home, so no point buying. Because he called me every time when he's going um, to the fish market on London. Yeah, it's like a fish stew or fish soup. or uh, uh, It's a special kind of food. Very, very, very nice. Very good, tasty. Is Maplin still operating in UK? You know, Maplin, we had a local shop, Maplin, but Maplin, you know, they just uh, shut down the business and I'm not sure if Maplin is still uh, operating in UK. Borsch, da, da, Silvio, Borsch de Peste, da, Borsch Bun de Peste. Maplin was handy, yeah. Every time you need something, you just go there and buy it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so everyone finished the coffee? Hmm? Constantin, n-ai mâncat un borș bun de pește. Ascultă-mă ce spun eu. Cum să mă-ți place? Nu mai spune treaba asta că îți dau bani pe chat. Nu? Nu, nu. Nu scrie de astea pe chat aici. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened. Usually, usually I have like one week only like gaming laptops. One week only the laptop. So, this week like I have a lot of Dells. And even now I still have one Dell left. A lot of Dell laptops. Yeah, that was crazy, Mati. I was going there and I was asking for some diode or rectifier bridge and they gave me the catalog. <laughs> like, it was like a big one, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, you still repair phones? Yeah, Jerry, if I get phone repairs, yeah, but I'm not I'm not I'm not getting that many phone repairs. Probably the people they prefer to go like on a local uh, repair shop instead of you know sending over the you know paying for postage and yeah. When actually you go on a local repair shop and you can have it fixed in a few hours. Enjoying being alone. Hard to say I'm enjoying this, but thank you. 
Can you give me some tip? Asus TUF laptop. When charging, it has the light indicator but no display. Wait. When charging, it has the light indicator but no display. So basically, when it's not charging, the laptop is working normally. That's what I'm trying to tell me. Uh, Mr. Homevids, I sorry, from Italy, I just bought universal laptop powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this and how you connect the power supply. You know what? I uh, said a few times. So if you have this uh, kind of adapter, yeah, like like I have, and I change the I change the tips. And you see, this is a cable, yeah, and it's connected to this. Now this cable is cut, yeah, is cut, and you get the two wires from inside, red and black. Red is plus, black is minus. That's all. If you have this adapter, I don't know from the other adapters, but I'm just telling you, if you have this one, you just cut the wire. I mean, you can cut it here, but it's too short. I'm assuming it's too short. So I'm using an extender. This is just an extender, and I cut the wire and. I got the red and black for plus and minus. Abdul, good job, good job. Okay, guys, so I finished my coffee. I still have a lot of, uh, of jobs here around me. I'll try to upload a video today later on. So, uh, I think we should have, you know, a nice Sunday. Yeah. JM, click likes everyone. Yeah, like button is good. Exposure, good morning. I have another cup of coffee. I'm, um, you know, I'm finished with my coffee. Do you work today, Jerry? Uh, I have few jobs which I need to finish them. And I have people, they want to send me more jobs, so I have to move. I have, I have to work today, yeah. I have to work. Uh, Della, still no picture, even if I... Uh, so, you see, the charger have nothing to do with your problem. So, your fault is coming on in no picture, and I cannot help you with that. Most likely that it's a dead chipset. Most likely, not necessary. But usually I'm not uh, taking gaming laptops where they are saying coming on in no picture. Because, yeah. Okay, guys. So I'll say hi, have a beautiful Sunday. Yeah. And uh, easy next week, you know, just try to spend some quality time with the family. I will say thank you for being here, having a coffee together. I really enjoy it. And uh, see you later. I'm pretty sure I will upload uh, a repair today on YouTube. So see you on the next one, right? Bye.